Um, first of all, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on uh, where you are. I think we've got a very interesting uh, panel for the next uh, hour or so. Um, we're going to look at investment opportunities in uh, the precious metals uh, area. So, um, uh, each of you introducing yourself. So I'm just going to go clockwise. So maybe Alain, uh, just a few words about what you've been uh, up to, perhaps. Uh, just just uh, briefly uh, uh, to tell you about uh, us and our about my profile. I'm a portfolio manager. We're running a precious metal fund. It's a long only equity fund. Uh, invested in uh, uh, mining companies. Uh, uh, it's called Global Gold and Precious, so mainly focused on, on precious metals. Sometimes we can we can invest on the margin in polymetallic companies. Perhaps you can just mention the outperformance of the fund, because in your bio you talk about beating the FTSE and gold mining index. Maybe you could just give a bit of colour uh, we have a benchmark. The benchmark is the FTSE Gold Mine Index. And uh, the FTSE Gold Mine Index, for those who are not familiar with it, is uh, basically a very, very uh, classic uh, index of gold miners. And it's, it basically represents the top 30, the biggest, the 30 biggest gold miners uh, in, in the world. Turn to Christian. Uh, perhaps you can say um, something similar about your experience and, uh, and knowledge. So over to you. Okay. Hello to everybody uh, from, from, from Peru. Uh, I work as, uh, I am the deputy CEO of SICG, that is a um, wealth management company specialized in mining, mining. And also I'm the VP of operations and co-founder of Puya Silver. That is a silver metal, uh, silver pro producers with operations in Canada, Peru, and growing. Right now, we are focused on silver in both of the companies that I work with, mostly in the niche of small mining producers around the world, especially in South America, where the costs are still low, operational costs are still low. We focus on low risk socially or low risk operations, where really we don't have these social problems, environmental problems, or any other kind of problem that you would have. Also, they are small, capex is smaller, uh, opex is lower, so risk is not that that big. Last but not least, let's just hear from from Humphrey. Perhaps you can just uh, give us some uh, uh, of your background and and experience. Thank you very much, uh, Robin, and um, uh, good afternoon here from Nigeria to Ireland and Christian and to uh, the audience who are watching around the world. Um, as Robin had uh, rightly said, my name is Humphrey Oreki. I'm the managing director for PAC uh, Capital Limited. Uh, PAC Capital is an uh, investment uh, an advisory uh, firm here in, uh, in Nigeria. Uh, though we are located in Nigeria, but we still have a presence across Africa. We have an uh, office in Ghana. We are also registered in Kenya. As of today, uh, we have a transaction uh, footprint in over 25 countries uh, in Africa. And as our vision is to cover the entire 54 sovereign countries uh, in Africa. In Africa. So this today uh, we are still counting, and I'm sure uh, more or less we are uh, halfway uh, there. Ranokan Capital is part of uh, 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 PS Capital is part of the Pan African Capital Holdings uh, Group. Pan African Capital Holdings uh, has uh, diverse interest in uh, various sectors of the economy and uh, finance. Uh, be one of them, and PS Capital is the flagship company under the financial. Uh, sector where we have uh, various other uh, companies providing other forms of services. What do you think are the best investment opportunities right now? I suppose this would be what metal and perhaps what jurisdiction or jurisdictions? The big picture, the last five, five years. And five years is pretty uh, 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 
actually uh, appropriate since uh, uh, we've always said that uh, those precious metals are cyclical. So we have to think about cycles uh, more than anything else. So, and, and the, the first uh, the, the last bull cycle started at the end of 2015. So to make it simple, over the last five years, uh, the metal that had the best, best performance was palladium. It was up more than 300%. And the metal that had the worst performance, still positive, but the worst among silver, palladium, gold, and, and platinum, it's platinum. Um, Alain favors gold over silver um your uh, um opinion are you still sticking with silver yes of course and the main reason is operational basically if i am a new producer and i want to get a permit for a gold process processing plant it will take me forever why sand basically most of the countries let's take let's take the the producers, okay, let's take South Africa, let's take Canada, let's take Peru, let's take the US. Just getting the permits to get into production for gold is terrible. So it's very long. However, I can just make flotation with silver and I don't need to have an ADR, I don't need to have cyanide, I don't need to have any of those things that will, I'm not saying it's difficult or even more expensive. Mining one ounce of gold and mining one ounce of silver, basically the same thing. That will, having said that, you will say, okay, gold has a, like a higher value white bother, right? However, when we go to processing, okay, and the reality that shows us how to get into production, then you will see that you could get a, a silver producer permit in 18 months. Okay. Well, I, I would, uh, um, you know, uh, Christian Inland uh, expert here in America, but I'm going to look at it from another perspective. Uh, maybe not now or historically in the last five years. Perhaps we have to look at it uh, in the future as a, as a focus because that is what we should be uh, looking at right now uh, at the moment. And in doing that, we also have to look at their uses. You know, apart from their uh, ornamental uh, value, which of course you know, uh, gold will always uh, come tops in terms of uh, its preference for for uses wedding rings, for plaque, for various kinds of award, and even uh, you know, the Olympics that will be coming forth, they are going to be having a lot of uh, gold in there. Of course, same way with the uh, silver. Uh, of course, for every position you have gold, you're also going to have a uh, silver medal uh, as well. Uh, but again, let's look at right now, um, we are coming out of uh, and lockdowns. Uh, we are also looking at the uh, green energy. We are looking at um, a, a tech technology. And what are those things that will also uh, drive the use of these uh, metals that we have just uh, uh, talked about? Um, and Alan at first had mentioned palladium, and, and then he went like uh, the comment on palladium was like uh, yes, up, and then a bit uh, down. On averagely, it still went on. And so they go. For now, there are going to be a lot of activities in the aviation sector, where again, palladium also plays some uh, role there in the sense of its usage. Uh, various airplanes that are flying, they make use of it in their spark plug. And for a very long time, a lot of these airplanes have been parked uh, in their in various hangars. Uh, around the world. And I'm sure that there will also, also be some. Uh, level of uh, needs for all those things in terms of uh, as our So that may help with demand uh, for, for palladium, for instance.